Welcome back guys. Moving on to more exponential expressions to simplify. So starting with number one, we got 16 x to the 12, y to the 20 to the power of negative 0.75, all over x to the negative one, y to the power of two, all to the power of three. So notice here that we're dealing with a decimal, negative 0.75. Usually we have a fraction. And whenever I see a decimal exponent like this, I always like to change it to the lowest common fraction. Now, negative 0.75, that's the same as negative 75 over 100, which simplifies to negative 3 over 4. Right? So all of this to the power of negative 3 over 4 is the same as all of that to the power of negative 0.75. Now, because this exponent is negative, we could take this whole expression, bring it down to the denominator, and then change that exponent to a positive. But because there's already go, uh, a lot going on, in the denominator, I'm just gonna leave it like this. So I'm just gonna distribute that negative three over four to all of the components in the bracket. So I'll have um, 16 to the power of negative three over four. Then I'll have x to the 12 to the power of negative three over four. Then I'll have y to the 20 to the power of negative three over four. And then same thing here, I'm gonna take this three, distribute it, so I got x to the negative one to the power of three, and then I got y to the power of two to the power of three. And then from here, let's try to simplify a bit. So 16 to the negative three over four, let's just leave that for now. 12 times negative three over four, that would give us what? Negative nine, so this would be x to the negative nine, 20 times negative three over four would give us what? Negative 15, so that would be y to the negative 15. All over negative one times three gives us negative three. And then this here, two times three gives us six. So from here, uh, I'll continue this up here actually. Um, let's take all of the negative exponents in the numerator, bring them down to the denominator and take this negative exponent in the denominator, bring it up to the numerator. So this comes up, becomes positive x cubed. This is gonna be all over 16 to the power of positive three over four. This uh, x to the negative nine would become x to the positive nine. This would be y to the 15. And then we're still left with a y to the six at the bottom. Now this 16 to the power of three over four Let's do this on the side here. So as I showed you before, I like to split these up like this. Right? I like to put one over the denominator and then put the numerator on the outside. So 16 to the power of one over four, that's like the fourth root of 16, which is two. And then two to the power of three is eight. So 16 to the power of three over four ends up being eight. So here, erasing this, we'll be left with eight at the bottom. X to the power of three over X to the nine, three X's up top, nine X's on the bottom. So that means we are left with six X's on the bottom. Then there's like a one left up top. And then uh, these here you can add. So 15 plus six gives us 21. So that's the final answer. One over eight X to the six, Y to the power of 21. Now again, from here, you may do this in different ways. Uh, just make sure you're getting this right answer. If you're getting the right answer consistently, then you know you are doing, you know you are, um, your method is correct. So moving on to number two, we got the fourth root of all of this here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this fourth root to a rational exponent. Uh, so that would be to the power of one over four, right? All of this is the fourth root. That's the same as all of this to the power of one over four. Um, and now from here, what can we do? Let's simplify the bracket first before dealing with the outside exponent. So I'm gonna distribute this negative three inside the bracket. So I'll have five to the negative three and I'll have x to the negative one to the negative three and this would be all over 5x to the 15. This is gonna be all over the power one over four. Uh, five to the negative three, you could bring that down, right? So this here 
would be five to the power of positive three times this five here, and this would be x to the 15. And then uh, negative one times negative three, that just gives us positive three. And this is still all to the power of one over four. So notice here how we have the same base, five to the power of three times five to the power of one, so we could add the exponents. So that would end up being what? Uh, five to the power of four in the bottom. So we have x cubed over five to the power of four over x15. This is all to the power of one over four. And from here, um, three x's up top, 15 x's on the bottom. So that means we are left with 12 x's on the bottom. And then five to the power of four is what? Five times five is 25, times five is 125, times another five, that would give us 625. So this ends up being 625 x to the 12. And this is gonna be all over the power one over four. And now, since this is simplified, let's distribute that one over four inside the bracket. So everything goes to the power one over four. So this one goes to the power one over four. This 625 goes to the power one over four. And this x to the 12 goes to the power one over four as well. One to the power anything is just one. 625 to the power one over four is five, right? The fourth root of 625 is five. And 12 times one over four is three. So this ends up being x to the three. So that right there is your final answer. Right? So I simplified the bracket first and then I dealt with that exponent on the outside.